you've just bought your new home, contracts have been exchanged, and time is ticking down to your big day. I'm here to show you how moving house doesn't have to move you to tears. I'm just outside of Peterborough, meeting Mark and Tonya, who are about to move out of their four-bedroom house. Moving home doesn't have to be stressful and scary. I'm going to show them the easy way. So what's happening? You're in the foes of moving. Yes. But yeah. by all accounts, not particularly well organised yet. Um, we're not probably the most organised of people, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we like to uh, fly by the seat of our pants. We're a bit chaotic. Mm. And with the three kids, there's a fair bit moving. I was hiring a seven and a half tonner and uh, was going to drive that myself. And pack it yourself. And pack it. Unpack it. And unpack it and shift the kids and the animals as well. So we better have a look around. I think so. I sense you Are you a ready? real pickle. <laughs> Come on. I admire Mark's gallantry, but I fear he's underestimating the scale of the job. This is a far from small move. With five large sofas and five beds, going it alone will be chaotic and could damage valuable furniture. Winging it is a bad idea. You really thought you could move this on your own? Yeah. <laughs> there's plenty of work to do around here, that much is clear. But if there's one thing I do know how to do, it's move house. And here's one big option to make life a lot easier. You've arrived right on time. Come on in. We have some removal there. Oh, oh, fantastic. Come in. fantastic. Hi. Welcome. Very welcome. Along with your stamp duty and solicitor fees, factor in the cost of a removal team when you buy your new home. It will definitely ease the pressure on the big day. Set aside around £690 to move the contents of a two-bed property up to 10 miles. Around £870 for a three-bed and approximately £1,050 for a four-bed home to the same distance. And if you want the removers to help you pack, set aside around £282. But if you do plan to do it all yourself, there are some simple cheats that expert mover Mark and his team swear by. And have you got any suggestions for actually packing the boxes? I know you guys use tissue paper and rugs and all that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, well, we use special packing materials, things like uh, white paper, tissue paper, bubble wrap. So when we wrap something up, we wrap something very carefully, but all the packing material that we use around it is there to absorb the shock when something's being moved. And the key to it all is make sure the box is full. As soon as you have a gap in the box, something can move around and it can get broken. The other thing to remember is if you take something apart, make sure that you keep all the bits together, because otherwise you'll get there and the leg of your table will be missing the screws. Yeah. For any successful move, it's so important to plan ahead you probably don't realise how much stuff you've accumulated over the years. Declutter and throw out things you won't need in your new home. Make sure you've let all your utility companies know your moving date. Royal Mail can redirect your post for up to 12 months after you've moved. Make a diagram plan of what goes where in your new place and share it with your removers. With each box in the right room, unpacking will be a breeze. Time to deal with the next job, the smaller but not less important items. Anything like your passports or your credit cards or any cash or any jewellery or any heirlooms or you know, those really, really important yeah. things. I don't think it's fair to ask the removalists to, to deal with them. So I always put them in a, in a, in a case yeah. on my back and I take them to a friend's or put them in the car Makes or sense. just get them out of the house. Yeah. That's the valuables taken care of. But remember, moving day can be exhausting, no matter how well you've prepared. It also really helps to pack a box of essentials that's actually going to get you through the move day. Some snacks, some tea, some coffee, mugs, teaspoon, things like this. Maybe um, a meal that you can heat up that night. Anything that's going to ease the day's pressures, because you will get thirsty, you will get hungry, you will get knackered. If, like Tonya and Mark, you've got kids, then it's best for them to play at a friend or family member's house for the day. Likewise, pets, but there are a few other things to remember to keep your furry friend happy. Ensure your dog's bedding and toys are one of the last things to pack. Having something familiar will keep them calm during the move. 
update their microchip with your new address and attach a new tag in case he makes a dash on moving day. And once you've made the move, don't wash your pet's bedding for a few weeks, so he has some familiar smells in the new house. With the last few items going into the van, it's almost time to make the move. When you arrive at your new property, check everything is in working order first. Make sure you know how the boiler and thermostat work, or you may face a chilly first night in your new home. Find out where the water stopcock is, in case there's an unexpected leak. And get to know the fuse panel, in case you're suddenly in darkness. Mark and Tonya's furniture has arrived at their new home, with the boxes being taken straight to the right rooms. After the stress of a big move, I think it's important to give yourself a reward for a job well done. Be it a glass of something bubbly or the inaugural takeaway. So I've arranged for a few housewarming treats to be delivered. Wishing you all the best for your new family home. Congratulations from Phil. Oh, isn't that lovely? Mark and Tonya's yeah. move has gone really smoothly and I'm absolutely delighted for them. You know what? I reckon we've all learnt a few things. Get ahead. Make sure your utilities are sorted before you move. Planning. I reckon an hour's careful prepping can save five hours unpacking. And do remember your essentials, the things that you need during the day, as well as your, what I'm going to call your security box. Take them with you in the car. You'll thank me at the end. Communication. Make it easy for people to know what goes where. Room plans, marker pens, stickers. The devil's in the detail. <laughs>